Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Imperial Shuttle Tadarium. I'll tell you more about it later once I've built it. Here you can see it's just arrived. Here's the box. Just going to get the bricks out of it. So, good pile of bricks here. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six bags. And obviously the instruction manual unfortunately still in the wrapper. You can see a few stickers there too, but nothing too bad. Um, the box is nice, it's quite a square shape, uh, as you can see there are five minifigs in this set which I'll show you later, but for now I'm going to build it, I'm not going to make a time lapse for this one because it just takes too long, but I'm just going to build it now and I'll see you back here later when I have built it and I'm ready to review it. It is set number 75094, ages 9 to 14 and it comes with 937 pieces. It comes with five minifigures and it is a really large set. Here you can see it on the stand, it looks really nice like this, but I salvaged some pieces from other sets that do it, so it doesn't come with a stand. But for the features I'll take it off just because it's a bit easier to film. Without further ado, I'm going to get into the main features of the set. Okay, so let's get into the features. Starting off with the main wing features of the set, which obviously fold out very nicely all the way down into the position which I showed you, which was in before. Um, that's very nice. I'll bring the wings back up and show you the firing mechanism, which works very nicely if the wings are angled down. You see it's very nicely integrated, that little button there, so it puts just down, and some spring-loaded missiles shoot out. So that's very nice. Um, here you can see there's a really good cockpit. It slides really nicely up, and you have space for two minifigures in there. That is good there. It's not quite to scale, but they've done a good job of spacing it out so that you can fit two in. Uh, there are a couple stickers in there, but they're not too bad. They're quite easy to put on. And as you can see, it slides nicely down onto it. Very good fit. Here is the, the top wing of the set, the dorsal fin, if you like. That looks really good. Um, it's made of some Technic pieces with some large pieces there, uh, which come together for very good effect. I wish the wings had the same sort of design on the side. As you can see, the side of the wing does not look that good, which is why you sort of want to display on a stand of some sort. Here you can see on the wing, it has some sort of guns. These ones rotate around. These ones come up and down. In, not particularly interesting, but some nice features that you can sort of move around. Here you can see the underneath the set. Not particularly attractive, but obviously you're never going to look at it from this angle. The landing gear retracts, uh, they're connected to each other via this axle here. And here you can see the underneath part. You pull this down and with it comes the door. So that's good. It means it doesn't come too far down or anything. I'm going to leave this open. So here you can see the inside of the set. It's not too accessible, but you can see here we have a little box, it fits nicely into place and it contains some thermal detonators which are cool, you can put some other spare parts in there if you want to, that sort of thing. You can see the side of the wing is just aesthetic, it clicks into place rather than sliding like some of the sets like the Republic Attack Shuttle. So that's good, it holds its position nicely. And here you can see the back of the set, I'll just lift it up for you, it looks really cool. Um, these parts are a bit annoying because they get stuck in different positions, but the back looks really good in general. The I love the blue, as I said before, and it's really smooth. Uh, here you can see from the other side, the inside of the ship. It has a little sort of backpack here with a gun on it. That, that comes off a bit, but that's okay. There's space for the box there, then there's a chair there, and another two chairs here. So there's space for three minifigures there. So. Han, Chewie and Leia and in the front we have the space for the two rebel soldiers. So without further ado let's get into the minifigures. And here we can see the main three minifigures of the set. First we have Princess Leia in her Endor uniform with a standard blaster. She has the cookie for which she gives to Wicket and she is wearing a poncho sort of thing. The camo colours. I'm just going to take that off quickly so you can see the rest of her printing. So there you can see underneath she's just wearing some blue trousers and the top from Endor. Um, shame they couldn't sort of continue anything down a bit like Han's design which is very nice where you can see the jacket that he's wearing continues down onto his legs. He's got the old Han Solo hair, I guess you could call it old if compared to the new one. He's 
got a small sort of pilot pistol. And then we have Chewbacca, the new ish version, but without the click fire bowcaster. So that's good. It looks a lot more accurate. It's a bit hard to get it onto him, and it definitely looks better because it's not so oversized. So these three minifigures are good. They're all wearing their Endor kit, which is nice. And now we're going to look at the back printing and their alternate faces. So here you can see their back printing. Princess Leia's looks quite nice. They're obviously just continuations of the front, and that matches the belt very nicely. Han is the same, but not very interesting, nothing of note. And Shiri obviously has an alternate face, but he has the sash, uh, which the, the printing and the coloration of is a bit broken up. I wanted to see the back of Han's head, which obviously is a bit annoying because you can just make out the smile there at the back of his alternate face, which I don't like when it doesn't cover it fully. I think they should have maybe left it out or just pulled, made the hair a bit bigger. Leia has a sort of smirk um, and Han has his sort of grinning face. So that's those three. Now let's look at the Rebel Troopers. And here you can see the Rebel Troopers. They have a bit of similarity, like the helmets and the trousers look very similar. Um, that sort of links them together, but obviously as Rebels they don't all look identical. This guy has a nice jacket and the other one has a sort of camouflaged vest with a strap going across the middle, which looks good. Underneath the helmets, you can see regular faces. This guy has an interesting beard, the one on the left. The other one looks just like a very regular face that you might find on any minifigure. So that's the front. I'll show you the back. As you can see, no alternate faces for these guys. There's their back printing, just continuations of the front. I think his looks identical to theirs which wouldn't surprise me in a way. That's that, that's the minifigures. I just wanted to say that it's a shame they couldn't have included maybe a couple of stormtroopers or like Luke would have been a good addition since he was in the scene. Maybe instead of oh, just have one rebel soldier and have Luke, that sort of thing. So could have had some better choice for minifigures, but for the actual minifigures we got, they were really good. Now we're gonna sort of look at some final thoughts for the set and I'll talk to you about the sort of pros and cons and that sort of thing. So there we go, that's the main part of the review done. So now we're gonna take a look at the set as a whole and I'm gonna give you my opinion on it and whether you should buy it or not. It's 80 pounds uh, retail price, but I managed to get it for about 60, which is good considering there's 930 or so pieces. The minifigures have a good selection. It would be nice to get Luke Skywalker or I think you can make this guy into Luke Skywalker just by giving him a lightsaber, that sort of thing, maybe some hair, because he looks quite like him. As a whole, the set's really good. You can see the wings don't look that great from here, but it's quite easy to, to change that and just to put it on display as a whole. It's a really big set when you have it, and it, it looks massive when the wings are fully out because it gives it a lot of height. I mean, I can only imagine what the UCS one must be like. I love the way they've integrated the spring-loaded missiles, the little uh, click sections are really good for that, so well done to the designer. The dorsal fin, if you want to call it that, is really good. Um, I was looking at buying Krennic's shuttle as well, I think this one looks nicer. I'm, I'm considering still getting that one but at some point. For now, just looking at this one, the inside of the set is quite plain. It's not, it's not meant to be like looked at that much. You can put your minifigures in it, that sort of thing. The inside is nice. I really like the way this is built as like a straight line, a lot like the UCS one as well. So that looks really good. So as, as a whole, the set looks really nice. I'd recommend buying it on that alone. And the minifigures are decent. They all have the old style of guns rather than the new bowcaster with the clip, with the little stud in it because those stud shooters aren't that great. It obviously comes with a brick separator as well, but we all have loads of those, so not really necessary. On the whole, I'd rate this set at least nine out of 10, if not 10, it's really good. The best part of it has to be the, the fin, that, that just looks, it really adds to it. It would look nothing nearly, nothing near as good without it. Anyway, that concludes my review of the set. Look forward to some more videos in the future where I'll be showcasing some of the builds where I've taken apart the battle packs from 2016 and 2015 and I've been putting them back together in different shapes. 
as different sort of builds so that should be coming out soon and hopefully you enjoy those there'll be short videos please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already maybe click the notifications on button the little bell next to the subscribe button on my channel name so you can see when my videos are coming out other than that thank you very much for watching and goodbye